Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. I'm John. Today I'm going to be tasting three things that are new from Dunkin'. Not to be confused with the place that used to exist called Dunkin' Donuts. First of all, I'm going to try this coffee thing that I got. Uh, I'm going to take the top off so you can kind of see some of the color of this. What color does this look like to you? supposed to be pink velvet macchiato. It kind of has a hue of pink, but mostly tan. Um, picture uh, makes it look very pink. There's also a iced version that you can get that looks ultra pink. I'm not sure what pink velvet is supposed to taste like. If it's like red velvet, then I'm guessing it's going to be chocolatey a little bit. And maybe it's so maybe mocha-y. What's going to taste? It does taste like sweet coffee. It's really not too special. I'm trying to see if there's any chocolate notes to it. Like coffee already has kind of a dark chocolatey flavor to it in general. It just kind of tastes like sweet, creamy coffee with a slightly tinted pink. It uh, doesn't taste bad, it's just nothing special. On to the next. What do we have here? What's in this bag? Let's find out. A lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's like a pancake taco, but they call this the pancake wake up wrap. So, you know, Duncan has the regular wake up wraps, uh, which is like a tortilla or a pita kind of thing with uh, cheese, fried egg, and either bacon or sausage. I got bacon in mine. You can get sausage in this one. But basically, they just replace that tortilla with a, a pancake. They also give you this. Mrs. Butterworth's original syrup, which is corn syrup, not maple syrup. I think they call it like breakfast syrup now. There you go. What you're going to do is dunk it in like that. Hey, that's the name of the place. So you got your pancake, syrup, Egg, cheese, bacon. That's one thing about corn syrup, breakfast syrup. It's like super, super sweet. Whenever anyone says, like, oh, this tastes syrupy, this is what I think of. Breakfast corn syrup. Mm. It's okay. It's a bit messy having to keep on dipping it like that. Um, if you... You know what, a, a better version of this is just the McGriddle. Um, it's a sandwich you can hold. There's no drippy syrup. And uh, I think the bacon and the eggs and stuff are just better than what you're here. Lastly, what do I have in here? This one is a donut. And it looks like a regular, regular glazed donut. I hope the algorithm picks this as my uh, thumbnail. But this was listed only on their app. It was listed under Test Kitchen. 
This is a buttermilk donut. I'm not sure what the difference is between this and the glaze. Uh, when I went to the store to pick it up, it wasn't a separate container than the glaze ones. It actually didn't even have a label on it. Uh, and I was like, um, I don't know if you guys have this, but I saw it from the app. You guys have the buttermilk donut. And they're like, oh yeah, we do. And this is it. Let's give it a taste. Soft, billowy, cakey. If you gave this back to back with a regular glaze, I might be able to tell a difference. But by itself, I would just be like, yeah, this is a glazed donut. It's not bad. It tastes like a donut. It's glazed. Now that I, but the fact that I know that it's a buttermilk donut, I'm trying to get like any kind of like tangy, almost yogurty flavors that might be associated with a buttermilk. Well, I'm really not getting much. It just tastes like a, a glazed cake donut, really. Anyway, that's it for this review of the three newest to me Duncan items. The pink velvet macchiato, which tasted like sweet, creamy coffee. Maybe something different to it. If there is, not much. The pancake wake up wrap, decent. Um, it's just McBriddle is the better format to eat the same type of food. And the buttermilk good donut, which isn't different enough from the regular glaze to uh, matter. Uh, and if this is a text kitchen thing, then I doubt it's going to get past that because uh, there's nothing special to it to differentiate it from what they already have on the menu. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.